Why do I love to perform so much? I wear... I find it boring if I'm not. And it's strange, it's a weird thing ever since... Well, like, in, in my book, I, I sort of talk about my earliest memory, which is when I was four. Genuinely, completely, truly, when I was four, and it was my younger sister's christening. And it was a, it was a moment that changed my lives. We went up onto this, like, altar in our church, which we used to go to, Salvation Army. And uh, I was put on a chair because I couldn't see properly, and then I could see all these people, and I just started messing around and dancing around and pulling faces, and people all went, oh, and they sort of laughed and chuckled, and I thought, well, this feels amazing. And then when I sat down, when it all finished, and I went back and sat down, I was just sat in between my mum and dad, staring at someone's back. I thought, well, this is rubbish compared to that. <laughs> and that something sort of clicked, where I thought, well, it, you know, and you. I don't know, yeah, I, it, for me it feels, I'm well aware that for lots of people it would feel really unnatural to be just sort of talking in front of people or performing in any capacity, it, but, but for me it, it feels more natural than talking to you now, oddly. I always dreamt that I would be the, the person who would take like the last bow in a big hip show, but I always had an inkling that I would probably be one of the people who was on, who bowed already and then turned and then the big main dude comes down. I never thought that I would be the person that would, that would do that. And I just feel incredibly fortunate to be involved in it. I don't consider it to be my thing. There's 12 actors in the play and it's written by, and it's designed brilliantly. I don't think, oh, look what I'm, look what I'm doing. You know, it's just a great part. It's a brilliantly written part. And I'm, I'm very lucky to have worked with people like Nick and Cal McChrystal and stuff. It's, it's, you can only be as good as the people that are around you. So, and the same with a show like Gavin and Stacey, where, you know, I guess Ruth and I probably took a lot of the praise for that show because you know, we wrote it and we're in it, but without, without the cast, without the director, without any of those people, it, it wouldn't have, there's no way it would have been a hit, you know? But my, my biggest thing is, I, is to, to, to just maximise fun, like at every opportunity. If you can just, if you can get the maximum fun out of stuff, then it was great, you know. I don't consider myself to have, to have of like a job, do you know what I mean? And that's brilliant, you know, so that's all I ever think. If you can just, if you can just, if you can just try and do stuff and enjoy it as much as possible, then I think you're, you're closer to it being good anyway. Because I think people love, I think people enjoy watching people that are having a good time. I think. You're all lucky, you're all really fit, you know, with exceptions, but. <laughs> <laughs>